embodiment is the process of becoming more conscious in and as your body. It's the gradual process of discovering yourself through your body and as your body. And a, a useful map to kind of draw out the distinctions of what's embodiment, what isn't, is my sense is a lot of people relate to their body as an object. And you could see this in terms of like getting in shape in the gym. It's very much about the look and the getting this object into a particular thing. And there's not that much identification as it. And then the next stage of awareness would be becoming mindful of your body. So starting to like, oh, I, I can feel into my body, start to become aware of these sensations. So the whole mindfulness movement is, is a step towards embodiment. But I think embodiment is, is actually moving beyond mindfulness and it's it's being as the body so your embodiment is is as the body and a, a pointer to this is that not that i think it's disembodied to say oh i feel this in my body or i'm my body's tired but it's just noticing what if you're referring to your body and can you just put an i statement in there like I'm activated or that's an, an interesting way to explore the mind body connection or, or a disidentification with the body, which I'm not saying is completely wrong. Because I think there are ways that we can be disidentified with the body in a healthy way. But just those pointers open up deep ways of relating to ourselves and our bodies. And from a personal point of view, it's just been amazing to discover the aliveness in my body. Like my, my ankles carry wisdom, like my hips have got all this fear from probably my birth. And there's just so, there's just a whole inner world of like every part of my body having a story, having a sensitivity to life, having an expression, having a struggle. And this whole world can, we can support our clients to become more embodied and to, to um, and I think it's only a, only a good thing to become more alive and conscious in our bodies. You can think of it as coming home to your body. You can think of it as kind of decoding information and getting like what was just a sensation some suddenly becomes a feeling and an expression. And you feel more alive as a result. For me, like just noticing my belly rumbling or something most of the time my sensitivity is like this isn't a random belly movement from eating food this is this is linked to my environment this is linked to my feelings this is information about me and life And there's something about exploring directly with the body, both, both personally and with clients, that I think is very rich and can kind of cut through a lot of stuff. 
especially linked to like what is the client actually capable of embodying and another way of thinking of embodiment is it's just how we actually are it's kind of like when the rubber hits the road what we embody is is our actual truth it's like what we how we actually are what we actually do is our embodiment there's a way of getting to like truth quickly through our embodiment and an interesting certainly through the this lens i think is really a really important one to look like when we're trying to make sense of what the hell is coaching and all the different ways that circling coaching sessions can go there's kind of a down to earth thing that can happen with embodiment of like can can the client embody certain things and are they interested in embody embodying certain things and my guess is that most clients that come to us actually sense that we embody something that they're interested in embodying but can't quite yet so with with one client i remember like just the embodiment of saying i want that and i don't want that like i want that pointing to that and i don't want that and like expressing it with my body and like can i actually embody that quality of being in my body and, and in my being and it became clear in the session that he he couldn't it was really foreign and him him seeing that in me was like kind of like a bit of a, a wow experience or and a lot of the work with him was was just based around that simple thing like for a, a two or three month coaching package we went all over the territory and all over the map and all kinds of different things but that felt a pretty central theme And the way to like, yeah, can you, do you feel comfortable taking space? Like you could try it now. Like, how do you feel moving right now? Do you feel comfortable to do this and take more space? It can give you direct information about who you are right now. And then also there's a whole opportunity to give your client practices and this how this relates to wholeness and willingness is is complex because one of my challenges to the coaching the typical coaching paradigm is that if, if a client hasn't got willingness then giving them a practice is a is you're in a codependent parent-child relationship but then at the same time, when there is willingness or when there's, there, there's an edge with the willingness and like exploring the theme through a practice can be super useful. It's like exploring the same thing that you've been exploring emotionally or therapeutically or through the body and through like a, a, a specific practice like a martial art or receiving body work or actually stretching that part of the body or exploring this theme in dance like there's so many ways that we can um practice new capacities and explore our edges through embodied practices which can essentially be anything and everything in my view like giving yourself a bubble bath and like putting nurturing yourself and putting oil on your body or walking in nature or like or doing something that requires a hundred percent of your energy every day or sprinting or journaling or meditating stand-up comedy like what might make the dis difference for them or what might be something that you could come up with together and what are they doing already like because some people have actually huge capacities in certain areas of their life that you can use to support them in um in what they're wanting and what you're working on with them and also it like linked to this is like listening listening to the body to like what actually lights us 
up and you, a way to find that out can be just to listen go to the body like what is the body longing for like is there a way it wants to move like right now is is there any information in your body that yeah like, i don't actually want to be sat in that in that way <clears throat> And I feel more energy as a result of this. So there's something about learning to live from this listening of like, what inspires me? Where, where is my aliveness going? What are the things I want to do? Like, do I want to go skiing next week, even though it seems a really bad idea? Or like, what, what gives us aliveness? Like, that's a, a, a deep listening and a willingness to follow that supports our embodiment. How's this, how's this landing? There's one last thing I'd, I'd forgotten, like linked to embodiment is, is your, yeah, just your posture. Like it's, you get, there's this way to directly get information about yourself and, and to explore yourself through your body and moving and what's there and and one one definition of trauma in the body is where there's tension or collapse so this this idea that it's possible to relieve tension or collapse and find that very liberating and like, how can I align in my body to express my spirit? <clears throat> 